a Yanams was caught in Douala and he is under investigation for stealing 370,000 francs from a civilian, from an IGP in the city of Douala. Not be treating another Anglophone. It's not even a matter of Anglophone, Francophone. You don't treat Cameroonians like that. Somebody has 321,000 in his phone, you withdraw 370,000 uh, and abandon him in Douala. Uh, I had to be called to leave Boya to come and fight for them. Is that normal? It's not normal. We should have to stop this. You are disgracing this country. You are disgracing the head of state. We cannot accept this. Not be treating another Anglophone. It's not even a matter of Anglophone, Francophone. You don't treat Cameroonians like that. Somebody has 321,000. Welcome to TFA Talking Point. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your support. This is the money that was taken from you, right? Yes. How much? Count it. Count it. Be sure that it is three hundred and seventy thousand francs. Hmm. I want to be sure. Count it. I'm a guy in the Okay. Eighty percent of security officials in Cameroon, I'm talking about the police, the Yandams, the military, the custom, the rule safety, are thieves. Eighty percent of them are notorious criminals. Eighty percent of them are armed robbers in disguise. And the question many Cameroonians are presently asking is, where can we run to? Because if you are in serious problem, if armed robbers attack you, you have to run to the police, to the Yandams, to the military. But they are the thieves. They are the armed robbers. They are the notorious criminals parading our city. An officials of the National Yanda, Yanda Marius was caught and he is under investigation in Douala littoral region of Cameroon for transferring to himself the sum of 370,000 francs from the mobile money account of an IDP in the city of Douala through intimidation. This is what southern Cameroonians are going through in Francophone regions as IDP. They are suffering. Many of them don't have food to eat. And maybe some people help. And some of them are struggling. And are making it in life. Are struggling up to the point that they, have to, they can have a little. And when Yandams, police, and many security officials see them. And identify that these are Anglophones. These are Southern Cameroonians. They will intimidate them. Because it, it was through intimidation that the Yandams took 300 and 70,000 francs out of 371,000 francs, leaving the guy with 1,000 francs, and he was stranded in the city of Douala. A guy that was having 371,000 francs in his mobile money account, and a security official intimidated him, and he opened his mobile money account and transferred to the Yandam. 370,000 francs. This is thieves. This is stealing. This is armed robbery. It's armed robbery. And I'm just thanking God for the person that video the face of this Yanda. Because the government of Cameroon under President Pobia, they, are, they, are, they always hide the face of the person committing the crime. And that is why the it, it, it security officials in Cameroon Keep on doing these terrible things. Because if we see this guy anywhere working as a, a Yandams, pop, the population of Cameroon can stand up and say, no, this kind of immoral, this kind of armed robbers cannot be our security officials. We are going to deny it because we have seen his face. So that is what I'm thanking the person who did this. 
This is what the IDP are going through. This is what Cameroonians are going through. Because of the kind of system, the, the kind of system the government of President Pobia has created in Cameroon. Everything is done through corruption. And they are comfortable with it. Since they have changed the name from a thieves to corruption or embezzler to bribery. Now they are comfortable with it. As if it is different from arm robbery. It is arm robbery. Extortion is arm robbery. It's arm robbery. And this more than 80% of men in uniform are going there every day against the innocent civilians, especially the IDP. And the highest method they are doing this, extorting money from IDPs in, in Francophone regions, is that what? They will just look at you and say, if you do, don't collaborate, we are going to say that you are an Amazonian fighter. We are going to say that you are supporting Amazonia. We are going to say that you were promoting Amazonia. And out of fear. Because the government of Cameroon do not investigate anything when it concerns Amazonia. When they just say you are an Amazonia or you are supporting Amazonia, they will just kill you or arrest you. That is all. They don't investigate to see whether it's true or it is. That is why thousands of southern Cameroonians are perishing in prison. Because they fail to collaborate to this arm robbery. They have failed to collaborate with these two, with this notorious criminal. And that is the lives we are living in Cameroon under the leadership of President Pobia, who have constructed and created a structure, a system within himself using the most notorious criminal using the, the terrible, morally decayed Cameroonians. They are the one closer to him. They are the one. And what can we do as Cameroonians? That is the first thing we have to do. What is the first question we have to ask ourselves? What can we do in this kind of situation? What can we do? There is nothing we can do because they are holding guns. And the government of President Pobia have given the right to shoot and kill anybody at any time. And they are doing it without anybody questioning them. Thank God to the human rights lawyer who left Buya and came to rescue this guy. And the money was returned or refunded to the guy. We don't know what we ha would happen. But I know that a guy will be transferred. But he will not be punished. He will not be sent to prison. But if he was an innocent a, a, a civilian or a civilian, they could have allowed him, the population, to kill him. Or they could have sent him to prison. That is, but for this one, because nearly all Yandams, police, men in uniform in Cameroon are in this, they will just caution him and say, you make a mistake. Try next time to correct your mistake. That is what they will say. Because all of them are in that system. All of them are doing it. That is why in Cameroon today, somebody joined the military or the police or the Yandams or the custom or any security officials or office work. In less than two, three years, you will see by what the guy is doing. Be the mansion, buying cars with a salary that is not up to 200 or 150,000. Living luxurious life. Through what? Through stealing. It is terrible. And the government of Cameroon have to stop this. The civilians are passing through a lot. Not to talk of the, the IDB. They are suffering. And the suffering is too much. We have to run to the police. When we are not secure. But the police are the one doing this to us. Where can we go to again? In Cameroon. 